Managing access in Azure is crucial for security and operational efficiency. Azure Rule-Based Access Control allows you to grant the right permissions to the right users, groups or service principles. Hello everyone, I hope you are all doing well. I am Manhar and welcome back to MSFT Fabcast. In this video, we will walk through how to assign Azure roles using the Azure portal. Azure Role-Based Access Control is a system that helps you manage who has access to Azure resources, what they can do with those resources and what areas they have access to. It operates on three core elements. Roles, it defines a set of permissions like Reader, Contributor, Owner, etc. Scope, which specifies where the role assignment applies. For example, Subscription, Resource Group, and resources. And third is principles, the users, groups or service principles to whom the role is assigned. By combining these elements, Azure ensures users have the exit permissions they need, no more, no less. To grant access, you assign rules to users, groups, service principles or managed identities at a particular scope. In the first step, we need to log in to the Azure portal. Open your preferred web browser, navigate to portal.azure.com and sign in with your Azure account. Ensure your account has sufficient privileges to assign rules. Step 1. Identify the needed scope. When you assign rules, you must specify a scope. A scope is a set of resources the access applies to. In Azure, you can specify a scope at four levels from broadest to narrowest, management group, subscription, resource group and resources. In the search box at the top, search for the scope you want to grant access to. For example, search for management groups, subscriptions, resource groups or specific resource. In this example, we will use a resource group as the scope. The term scope refers to a set of resources with specific access. It enables you to grant the relevant security principle to a certain role. Limiting the scope means limiting the scope of resources at risk if the security principle is compromised. Under Azure Services, click on Resource Groups. Click the resource group where you want to assign the Azure role. Click on Access Control. Access Control is the page that you typically use to assign roles to grant access to Azure resources. It's also known as Identity and Access Management and appears in several locations in the Azure portal. Click the Role Assignments tab to see role assignments for this resource group. My account has the owner role for this resource group inherited from the subscription level. Go to Roles tab. You can see the list of Azure roles with its description. In simple term, a role definition is a collection of permissions. You can use the built-in roles or you can create your own custom roles. Owner role grants full access to manage all resources, including the ability to assign Azure roles to other users. Contributor role grants full access to manage all resources, but does not allow assigning user roles. Reader role grants access to view all resources but does not allow making any changes. In the step 2, let's assign the Azure role. Click on Add and then select Add Role Assignment. From the list, select the role you want to assign. You can search for a role by name or by description. You can also filter roles by type and category. If you are unsure which role you need to assign, you can now use Copilot to help you select the appropriate role. This capability is being deployed in stages, so it might not be available yet in your tenant or your interface might look different. If you want to assign a privileged administrator role, select the privileged administrator roles tab to select the role. For this example, let's select contributor role. In the details column, click view to get more details about the role. Review the permissions that this role will grant to the user or group you are selecting. Close the page and click Next. Step 3. Select who needs access. Select user, group or service principle to assign the selected role to one or more Microsoft Entry users, groups or applications. 
You can assign the role to a managed identity as well. Click on Select Members link. From the list, select the users, groups or service principles. You can type in, in the select box to search the directory for display name or email address. Select David Smith and then click on Select. In this example, we are assigning the contributor role to David Smith for the resource group named testapp-rg02. Click Next to continue. If you selected a role that supports conditions, a conditions tab will appear and you have the option to add a condition to your role assignment. A condition is an additional check that you can optionally add to your role assignment to provide more fine-grained access control. The conditions tab will look different depending on the role you selected. Review the role assignment settings. Once everything is confirmed, click review plus assign to assign the role. After a few moments, the user will be assigned the role at the selected scope. We will get the confirmation message, David Smith was added as contributor for tstep rg 2 Go to the role assignments tab and then click refresh. Verify that David Smith is listed with the contributor role and that the scope is this resource. David Smith now has full control over this resource group but he cannot assign any Azure roles within it. Go to Overview tab. We have stored the storage accounts under this resource group. Then click on Access Control and go to Role Assignments tab. Again confirm that David Smith is listed with the contributor role. This time the scope is the resource group because the permission is inherited from the resource group. This is how we can assign Azure roles to user account using Azure Portal. That's all for this video on how to assign Azure roles using the Azure Portal. I hope you found this video helpful and informative. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos on Microsoft Azure and other Microsoft related topics. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Have a great day.